Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. It's another day, and it's just incredible with the amount of knowledge that we get from this show, the nuggets that help us both, not in just our professional life, but also our personal life to be more successful. The show is all about, well, learning the secrets of heroes. Those are ones that are builders. Those are ones actually doers creating things. They're creating jobs or products or so many things. And the next hero, I'm just so excited because could you believe this or not, that you can actually take two things, one so popular called coffee that almost everybody drinks, tons, tons of cups, a day, right? You start your morning off. And another, which is so popular, called protein. Now, is it possible to have both of those together? Well, we're going to talk about uh, our next hero here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and introduce her, Donna Sanchez. And she is the co-founder for Cup of Protein. And you could reach her at cupofprotein.com. Now, Donna, how in the world can you take coffee and protein and fuse it together into one? Um, thank you. It's, it's funny that you called it um, an infusion because that's exactly what it is. Um, it took about 14 uh, months of trial and error to figure out the, the right way to do it. We had come into a lot of roadblocks. Um, there are certain proteins on the market when it reacts with hot water it sort of creates a malted milk ball effect it cooks the outside of the protein it leaves powder on the inside and what we were really focusing on was to have a coffee protein infusion specifically for the Keurig or single serve brewer market and so our whole strategy was to, you know how to mesh these two together to exit a k-cup or pod but and where does this idea, where did you even come up with the idea? Where were you at the moment that yeah. it's, you're like, uh, yeah, we need that? Right. So I was actually in my kitchen getting ready for work. At the time, I was working for a ready-to-drink protein shake company, similar to that of a muscle milk. And um, I personally do not like to eat breakfast. And so every morning, I'm drinking these samples that I have in my garage. And, you know, it was all cold. And I don't know if it's sort of brainwashing from my Midwestern background that you need something warm and nourishing in the morning. But I really was just tired of drinking cold protein. I started complaining complaining about it out loud, really. And um, my uh, husband, Toby, had heard me complaining and said, you know, well, what, what would, if you could change it, what would you do? And I'm like, as I'm making coffee in, in my carry machine, I said, I, I don't know, why can't they just put protein in a K-cup? And, you know, that's, that's it. I, I'm done. I can leave for my day. And sort of a little light bulb went over uh, Toby's head. And he thought, wow, that's a really good idea. And immediately got online and tried to do some research to see if anything like that existed. And he found, you know, there wasn't anything like that at so, all. So, Donna, from the time that you have the idea, then you talk with your incredible husband and actually being able to launch the product. Mm -hmm. How long was that time frame? About 18 months. 18 yeah. months. Mm -hmm. And what was, would you say, one or two of um, secrets you can reveal with us of those that have an invention, those that want to create something, of two of maybe the major markers of being able to get that done? Mm -hmm. Well, the, f the first thing, we had hired a company to actually achieve the results that we wanted, and they told us it couldn't be done. They, they literally looked at us and said, well, if the big guys haven't done it, it, it can't be done. But and that's where everybody would stop, right exactly. at that point. Exactly. And, you know, we really just thought that was ridiculous. We thought there, there absolutely has to be a way that you can do this. So we set out and tried every coffee from every corner of the world and every protein imaginable until we found the right formula. And when we did, I still get goosebumps when I say it. It's like someone handed me a winning lottery ticket, and I knew that that was it. That was the formula. And I'm in shock because, again, so you've got a professional, <clears throat> right, telling you this can't be done. You can't invent it. They know everything there is to know about it, yet right. now you're able to turn around and say no. And, and even to go the extra step without even knowing for sure, right, that you could do it. Absolutely. Most people wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but there was just something about it. We just had this gut feeling that we knew that, that it was possible and, and this is what we needed to, to do and, and to chase after. And so you launch Cup of Protein. Now you're in tons of stores. You've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of more stores coming out. I mean, almost every brand store that people have heard of, it's going to be on the shelves. There's no other product like it. That just has to be the most incredible feeling, like you said, winning the lottery. Absolutely. And, you know, I've repped products for the last 17 years, primarily in the beverage industry. So 
to be able to walk into a buyer's office and to sit down with my own product, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. It's something I'm very, very proud of. And I'll tell you from everything that I've sold, um, this is hands down the best reception I've had to a product. Um, you know, the buyer on the other side of the table, they absolutely love it. And we're talking with Donna McReynolds, the co-founder of Cup of Protein, can be reached at C-U-P-O-P-R-O-T-E-I-N dot com. And you're listening to me, David Kogan, the Alliance's Heroes radio show host. And go to where entrepreneurs align and be part of the community. You may even have the chance to meet Donna live in person at one of our many experiences. Go to Alliances dot com, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S dot com. Well, that is, is if you want to be able to build your business, start your business, mentor others, give back to the community, help build the community and be around, most importantly, the most motivated and energetic people that don't say no to somebody who's in the industry that says it can't be done, like Donna, who now has taken it and turned around and everything. And again, you could reach Donna Sanchez going to cupaprotein.com, Donna Sanchez. So Donna, what I don't understand, though, too, is is that, uh, you know, I hear a lot about recyclable things and stuff and that you've come out and you've created the recyclable K cups. What I don't understand though is 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 that why and ha- doesn't not only for just the environment and stuff and I understand that's important but it also adds right such an extremely amount of expensive cost to it. Right, but we really felt that that was something very important to us. Um, you know, protecting um, the environment was was something that we wanted to make sure that we were paying attention to in our product. So, you know, when you hear stories where there's so many unrecyclable K-cups out there that it's enough to fill up a football stadium and that just dumps right into a landfill you know on a on a yearly basis we, we couldn't let that happen so that was one thing that was very important to us that we found this cup that was indeed recyclable and um, used it for a cupo. And what have you found have you expanded now internationally have you looked at other countries of bringing this to? Well um, what we found because um, a lot of the um, K-cups that are currently on the market, they're actually banned from many countries because they're not recyclable. So right now we're, I wouldn't say pigeonholed, but right now we're focusing on um, just United States um, distribution. But since your cups now are already recyclable, you know, that right there is a big lead in into these countries that actually ban it. I mean, are there, uh, are there a number of countries that actually ban this stuff? Yes, there's, there's many that won't even let carry into the market because of the recyclability issues. I mean, this is just truly incredible. And to have come up with it mm-hmm. and to be able to formulate it. And did someone tell you, too, no, it couldn't, couldn't be done either? <laughs> um, no, actually, we found some like minded people who were already um, in the process of, of, you know, working towards having a recyclable cup. So we, it was a perfect marriage of the two. Fantastic. Well, let me ask you you're giving a lecture to a group of let's say 18 year olds and they all love coffee they start their day off because they're going to college and they need to have that that coffee and stuff what would you say to them though as as far as is the secrets of being able to well it's being healthy drinking cup of protein because now you're taking coffee which people already love and the protein which many college students are very active right when in getting their protein but to be able to be successful in their career and being able to well what happens because they're going to meet someone that says, no, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. What secrets would you reveal to them and say, you know what, you can. Here's how. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily, um, you know, a secret. It's just, you know, when, when you have that gut feeling and you really believe in something, there's, there's more ways to, to do something. You just have to um, stay focused and really just have an open creative mind and explore all avenues. Excellent. Well, Donna, I got to tell you, someone who can co-invent something that's not been done before and not take no for an answer from a professional who says, ah, can't be done, you can't mix them both, it's not going to happen, that's a hero. Donna Sanchez, who could be reached at cupaprotein.com. And this is, again, David Cohen with the Alliances. And thank you to our famous, famous producer, Glue who is with Loopy Docs and Design, and you can go ahead and go to our website, Loopy Docs and Design, for all your editing needs. David Kogan with Alliances.